Escape to a world of turquoise waters, white sandy beaches, and endless sunshine as you embark on a journey to discover the hidden gems of Greece's breathtaking islands. Are you ready to experience the ultimate paradise? Discover Greece's stunning islands, where every corner is a postcard-worthy moment. Sail away to a land of ancient mythology and modern-day indulgences as you explore the diverse and captivating islands of Greece. Immerse yourself in the vibrant culture, fascinating history, and unparalleled beauty of Greece's enchanting islands. From romantic getaways to family adventures, Greece's islands offer the perfect blend of relaxation and exploration for every type of traveler. Join us on a journey of discovery as we delve into the rich culture, tantalizing cuisine, and awe-inspiring beauty of Greece's mesmerizing islands. Step into the land of gods and explore the enchanting beauty of Greece, a land where ancient history meets modern-day paradise. The ultimate guide to the best Greek islands, festivals, foods, wines, and tours. Greece has beautiful islands and is a land of ancient history and breathtaking attractions. From its stunning islands and seashores to its iconic ancient ruins, bustling cities, and vibrant culture, Greece offers something for every type of traveler. Greece is one of the most popular tourist destinations in Europe and its history, beaches, and cuisine are known around the world. This extensive guide gives you a tour of everything that island of Greece has to offer. From its top attractions and where to stay to its unique customs, traditions and festivals, it is the basic knowledge you need before planning your dream trip to visit Greece islands. On this video you'll also find the best Greece travel tips for the most beautiful beaches. How to Island Hop by Sailing Greek Islands The best Greek islands are off the beaten path like The Cyclades Islands in Greece are called the most romantic and fun island hopping there is. These are some things to do there, where to stay, and an approximate cost. The costs can vary depending on the location, time of year, and type of accommodation. Hostels, guest houses, and budget hotels can range from your 2060 euros per night. Midrange hotels range from your 6150 euros per night. Luxury as five star hotels, villas, and resorts can range from your 151,000 euros per night. Accommodation options at guest houses can also vary in price, but can often be authentic option. Cyclades Islands Sailing Greece is a true dream come true. The Cyclades Islands are known for their luxury resorts and high-end hotels, but there are also some more affordable island options. Sandorini is well known for its sunsets, which are the most beautiful in the world. The whitewashed buildings provide a relaxing atmosphere and best places to visit in Greece. Sandorini, some of the easier options to see are traditional rooms, hiking the caldera and enjoying the beaches. Hostels to luxury resorts prices starting at around $50 per night and going up to several hundred dollars per night. Known for its nightlife, beautiful beaches, and windmills, Mykonos is a popular destination for tourists. One can explore the old town and enjoying the nightlife. Hostels to luxury villas that are priced above from $100 to $1,000 a month. With its breathtaking beaches and charming villages, Naxos is a great destination for vacationers. It's also an ideal spot for families and couples looking to enjoy some time away from their day-to-day -day life. There are lots of things to do in Naxos. Can you can take a tour of the ancient ruins, go for a hike up Mount Das, or visit the old town. The accommodation options range from budget-friendly guesthouses to luxurious villas and prices start at around $20 per night and go up to several hundred dollars per month, which is a big difference in price. Naxos Ancient Ruins of the Temple of Apollo Naxos is a Greek island and is surrounded by the Aegean Sea. It is home to impressive tributes to Apollo, which was built in the 3rd century BC as a monument to Apollo. Mysterian and Doric columns have been painstakingly restored, but it was later destroyed and is now a rare farm. Naxos is good for hiking to Mount Zas. Naxos is an inhabited Greek island at the southernmost point of the Aegean Sea. The archaeological remains include artifacts from the Minoan and Hellenistic periods. This exotic island is also home to beautiful beaches and amazing hiking trails. For a fantastic exploration, the highest peak on the island is Mount Zas, 
3,849 feet, which you can hike. Exploring the ancient old town of Naxos. Every day, tourists and travelers flock to the ancient old town of Naxos. The city is a maze of streets and alleys where visitors can explore the many shops and markets of all regions. The walkways were lined with brightly lit cafes, restaurants, cafes, bakeries and souvenir stands. Paros has beautiful beaches, villages and a time away from it all. Things to do include visiting the ancient ruins of the Temple of Athena, hiking to the top of Mount Prophetus Ilias, and enjoying the beaches. Accommodation options range from budget-friendly guesthouses to luxury hotels, with prices starting at around $30 per night and going up to several hundred dollars per night. Known for its stunning beaches and rugged landscapes, Milos is a great destination for those seeking a more off-the-beaten-path experience. Things to do include visiting the ancient amphitheater, exploring the catacombs, and enjoying the beaches. Accommodation options range from budget-friendly guesthouses to luxury villas, with prices starting at around $30 per night and going up to several hundred dollars per night. The prices mentioned above are approximate and can change depending on the season, availability, and location. It's always best to do your research and book your accommodations well in advance. Additionally, there are many other islands around the Cyclades archipelago. Other popular options include Iorus, Oligandros, Sifnos, and Seraphos, just to name a few. There are amazing ancient sites in Greece, one of them being Athens, that are worth seeing. The food in Greece is top-notch and will leave you all struck. From fresh seafood, grilled meats, delicious bread, cheese, and wine, everything is just so good. Visiting the ancient ruins of Athens should be on your list. The Acropolis, the Temple of Olympian Zeus, and the ancient Agora are just a few of the countless historical sites scattered all over Greece. Greece features some of the world's most beautiful beaches. From the popular Mykonos, Sandorini, and Milos to Argyra, Akamas, and Agia Anna on Naxos, each has its own flavor. The nightlife in Greece is legendary, you really can't go wrong with any of the celebrations here. From Mykonos to Athens, there are plenty of places to dance the night away. You'll be awestruck by Greece's warmth, friendliness and hospitality. You'll have a great time and feel welcomed wherever you go. Don't be surprised if you're invited to join a family for dinner or offered a glass of ouzo by a friendly local. The hospitality of the Greek people is a highlight of any trip to Greece. Here are a few must-try Greek foods that you may or may not have heard of, and their approximate costs. Souvlaki, grilled meat skewers, usually pork, chicken, or lamb, served with pita bread, tomato, onion, and tzatziki sauce. Cost, 2 to 4 euros per skewer. Moussaka, a layered dish made with eggplant, ground meat, and bechamel sauce. Cost, 5 to 8 euros per portion. Greek salad, a classic salad made with tomatoes, cucumbers, onions, feta cheese, and olives, dressed with olive oil and lemon juice. Cost, 4 to 6 euros per portion. Gyro, a wrap made with grilled meat, usually pork, chicken, or lamb, tomato, onion, and tzatziki sauce. Cost, 2 to 4 euros per wrap. Spanakopita, a savory pastry made with spinach and feta cheese. Cost, 2 to 3 euros per piece. Baklava, a popular dessert made with layers of phyllo pastry, chopped nuts, and honey syrup. Cost, 2 to 4 euros per piece. Feta cheese, a salty and tangy cheese made from sheep or goat's milk, used in many Greek dishes. Cost, 2 to 5 euros per portion. Taramisalata, a dip made with fish roe, olive oil, lemon juice, and breadcrumbs. Cost, 2 to 4 euros per portion. Dolmades, stuffed grape leaves filled with rice, herbs, and sometimes meat. Cost, 3 to 5 euros per portion. Ouzo, a traditional Greek alcoholic drink made from aniseed, usually served as an aperitif. Cost, 3 to 5 euros per shot. Please note that the prices may vary depending on the location and the restaurant. 
best tours to take in Greece and their approximate costs. Athens Sightseeing Tour A guided tour of Athens must-see sites, including the Acropolis, the Parthenon, and the ancient Agora. Cost 40 to 60 euros per person. A boat tour of the famous Sandorini Caldera, including stops at the volcanic hot springs, the island of Thrasia, and the picturesque village of Ely. Cost 90 to 120 euros per person. A guided tour of Mykonos, including the windmill, the famous Little Venice neighborhood, and the church of Panagia Paraportion. Cost 40 to 60 euros per person. A guided tour to the archaeological site of Delphi, home to the famous Oracle of Apollo and the UNESCO World Heritage Site. Cost 80 to 120 euros per person. Meteora Monasteries Tour, a guided tour to the stunning rock formations and monasteries of Meteora, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Cost 80 to 120 euros per person. A guided tour of the Acropolis Museum in Athens which houses many of the artifacts found at the Acropolis. Cost, 15 to 25 euros per person. A guided tour to the charming coastal town of Nocleo, including a visit to the Polymede Fortress and the Bortsi Castle. Cost, 60 to 80 euros per person. A guided tour to Cape Sunio to watch the sunset over the Aegean Sea and visit the Temple of Poseidon. Cost, 50 to 70 euros per person. Please note that these prices are approximate and may vary depending on the tour operator and the season. Some tours may include transportation, meals, or entrance fees to attractions, while others may not, so be sure to read the tour details carefully before booking. Here are some popular Greek alcoholic drinks and their approximate costs. Ouzo, an anise-flavored aperitif that is the national drink of Greece. It costs around 10 to 20 euros for a 700 milliliters bottle. Metaxa, a brandy-like spirit that is often served as an after-dinner drink. Prices range from 15 to 40 euros depending on the age and quality. Retsina, a white wine that is flavored with pine resin, giving it a unique taste. It costs around 5 to 10 euros per bottle. Sephora, a strong distilled spirit made from crushed grape skins and stems. It is often served as a digestive and costs around 15 to 25 euros per bottle. Mastija, a liqueur made from the resin of the mastic tree. It has a sweet and floral taste and costs around 20 to 30 euros per bottle. Ayutiko grape variety, which is grown primarily in the Nemea region of the Peloponnese. It has a rich flavor with hints of cherry and spice and costs around 10 to 20 euros per bottle. Acetico, a white wine made from the Acetico grape variety, which is grown primarily on the island of Santorini. It has a crisp and refreshing taste with notes of citrus and sea salt and costs around 15 to 30 euros per bottle. Mavridaphne, a sweet red wine made from the Mavridaphne grape variety, which is grown primarily in the Patras region of Greece. It has a rich and fruity flavor with hints of chocolate and costs around 10 to 20 euros per bottle. Alcohol prices in Greece can vary depending on the location and the establishment. Prices tend to be higher in touristy areas in popular bars, restaurants, and clubs. As always, it's important to drink responsibly and to be aware of the local laws and customs related to alcohol consumption. We're happy you like our video and please take your time to subscribe and like for more. Greece have some excellent olives too, for your health and other facts. Greek olives are some of the best in the world. They have a rich and complex flavor and texture. Greek olives are grown in the regions of Kalamata, Crete, and Peloponnese. They are an important part of Greek cuisine and culture. Many different types of Greek olives. Unique characteristics and flavor profiles. Some of the most popular varieties include Kalamata olives are purple and have a fruity flavor are often in pizzas and salads. Halkidiki are green olives with a firm texture and a mild, buttery flavor. Fruba olives with a rich and intense flavor. Amphis are medium-sized, black olives with a meaty texture and a slightly bitter flavor, often used in cooking. The olive is also known for its health benefits. They are important because of its ability to lower cholesterol, which is associated with health risks, and they are also a source of vitamin E. 
Greece is one of the world's largest producers of olive oil and it dates back thousands of years. The olive tree played a role in Greek mythology it is often associated with wisdom, peace and fertility. Harvesting olives is a time-honored tradition. Families and small-scale producers still use traditional methods to prepare olives. Traditional Greek Dances The traditional Greek dance is called Sertos. The circle dance is done by a group of people. The dance is often accompanied by traditional Greek instruments such as the bazooki, the lyra, and the accordion. There are many different variations of the Sertos dance, each with its own unique steps and regional variations. The dance is often performed at weddings, festivals, and other celebrations, and is a beloved part of Greek culture and tradition. Another Greek dance is becoming popular, the Zorba dance. It was made famous by a movie called Zorba the Greek. A Zorba dance is typically very energetic, with the pace building up to a fast finish. Greece Traditional Religion The majority of Greeks follow the Eastern Orthodox Church, which is a branch of Christianity. The Greek Orthodox Church has a long and rich history. The Church is one of the most important institutions in Greece. On certain religious holidays and traditions, people celebrate with feasts and festivals. There are also small communities of Muslims, Catholics and Jews in Greece. The official currency of Greece is the Euro. We can safely say that Euro and Greece are synonymous. National Greek festivals, based on the month and their religious significance. Apocris, Greece famous carnival, February through March. Greeks celebrate the Greek festival on a yearly basis. The festival is filled with many diverse events such as agricultural competitions, dances and so forth. Clean Monday in Greece, February to March. Greeks eat fish or meat on Clean Monday. They also donate money and clothes for people who need them. Greek Independence Day, March 25th. Greece celebrates its independence on March 25th. The date marks 200 years of their declaration of independence from the Ottoman Empire in 1821. Easter in Greece, April to May. Greece is a big celebration for the Greek Orthodox Church. Easter lasts a whole week with preparations like fasting and celebrating happening weeks in advance. Greeks have very elaborate and time-consuming celebrations. Agio Constantinos and Alan, May 21st. Saint Constantine was a military leader who led the Byzantines to victory over the Persians and retook Constantinople in 324. On this day in 1453, Istanbul was conquered by the Ottoman Empire and became known as Istanbul. Assumption of the Virgin Mary, August 15. The Virgin Mary is a popular figure in Catholicism. Catholics believe that when she died, she was taken to heaven in a deep sleep. Christmas in Greece, December Big Celebration. Christmas in Greece is a month-long celebration of the birth of Jesus Christ. Greeks spend most of their Christmas Eve at home with friends and family, preparing a festive meal before heading to church. New Year's Day in Greece, January 1st. Greece celebrates Epiphany on January 1st, which is a day of festivities. There are many festivals and celebrations that take place throughout Greece. Festivals are often tied to the local culture and traditions of a region. Local Greece Festivals Here are some examples of local celebrations in Greece along with their location and time of the year. Aegina Fistiki Festival, Aegina Island, Saronic Golf, September. The Aegina Fistiki Festival aims to preserve Greek culture by bringing communities from all over the world together. Sardine Festival, near Kies, Argolis, July. Nea Kies has a sardine festival in July. It is the town's highlight for an entire summer. Wine Festival, Nausa, Emithia, September. Wine festivals are a way for people to come together and experience some delicious wines from all over Greece. Orange Festival, Pelagiros, Kalkadiki, July. The Orange Festival is a four-day. It is a cultural festival that celebrates the orange tree and its symbolic fruit. Nemea Wine Festival, Nemea, Corinthia, August to September. Wine Festival is yearly one of the biggest wine festivals in Greece. Chestnut Festival, Carpanisi, Evertania, October. The annual Chestnut Festival is a week-long celebration of the harvest time. Activities include eating, cooking, art, performances and drinking in the streets. 
Rose Festival, Agros, Cyprus, May. There is a festive mood through the month on the island. People are laughing joyfully. Sapporo Festival, Tenebos, Larissa, October. Wine Festival features Greek wines, food, and entertainment. Honey Festival, Kimi, Evia, August. Kimi is known for its honey, and it holds a big honey festival to show off the town's honey products. Cherry Festival, Nausa, Emathia, June. The tradition is a very festive and religious celebration. Kalamata Dance Festival, Kalamata, Messenia, July. The Kalamata Dance Festival takes three weeks and is held in the picturesque town of Kalamata, Greece. Feta Cheese Festival, Amogia, Crete, August. Amogia holds a major feta festival each year and it attracts thousands of visitors. Watermelon Festival, Kiparasia, Messenia, August. Kiparasia, a town in Greece, has a port that offers sheltered harbor for boats as well as a natural harbor offshore. International Folklore Festival, Eunonia, Epirus, August. The festival lasts for about a week and features traditional folk music, dance, and food from around the world. Greece Festival includes Baklava, Italian Gelato, Greek Moussaka, Bulgarian Haraka. Sifnos Cheese Festival, Sifnos Island, Cyclades, September. The Cheese Festival is a festival that celebrates the art of cheesemaking, most famous festivals in the Cyclades. Kite Surfing Festival, Paros Island, Cyclades, August. Paros Island is a popular place for summer holidays. It has many beaches and views. Greek Honey and Beekeeping Festival, Athens, October. It celebrates Greece's history of honey and beekeeping. A goal is to raise awareness on how big player the bees in the world. Olive Tree and Olive Oil Festival, Kalamata, Messenia, November. Festival kicks off on November 5th. For a whole month, the festival celebrates all things olive, from ancient Greek mythology to modern day flavors. International Film Festival, Athens, September. The Athens International Film Festival is a film festival that takes place in September in Athens, Greece, and features films from all over the world. There are many different festivals in Greece. Check with local tourism offices or online resources to find more festivals and events to attend. People of Greece celebrate the festival with gusto, offering an amazing opportunity to experience their culture and their hospitality. Before going to our next part of Greece wineries and the beautiful island of Zakynthos and Corfu please subscribe to help me bring you more of this videos. Beautiful Island Corfu, Greece It attracts visitors for its lush green scenery and Venetian-style architecture. It has many things to do. Visit the Old Town is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and has a Venetian-style architecture, narrow streets, and charming squares. You can get a guided tour of the island for 20 euros. Beach hopping, beaches with stunning views, crystal clear waters, and plenty of activities such as snorkeling, kayaking, and paddleboarding. Some of the popular beaches include Palia Castrizza, Agio Gordias, and Issos Beach. Beach activities and rentals vary in cost, but typically range from 520 euros. Corfu Museum of Asian Art. This museum is located in the Palace of St. Michael and St. George and is dedicated to Asian art. Explore the Achillean Palace. The Austrian Empress Elizabeth's main palace is located on the island of Corfu, Greece. The building boasts stunning gardens and panoramic views in the cost of admission. Take a boat tour. You can take a boat tour of the island to explore its many hidden coves and beaches. Prices vary, but expect to pay around 20-30 euros per person. Try local cuisine. Corfu is a popular tourist hub, and its cuisine reflects this. Expect to pay around $15-$20 per person for a meal in a mid-range restaurant. Bar hop in Corfu town, prices of drinks vary throughout the nightlife scene on Corfu. A drink might cost 5 to 10 euros. Corfu is more expensive than the other Greek islands. Some things, however, can help bring down your costs. For example, you can save money by staying in budget accommodation or by opting for self-catering apartments instead of eating out for every meal. You can find cheaper prices for attractions and tours by shopping around or booking in advance. Prices for hotels in different seasons are often higher. It is best to be mindful of your surroundings when traveling, as well as take precautions. Keep an eye on your stuff, particularly in crowded areas. Dress appropriately when visiting religious sites and avoid public displays of affection. 
By being respectful, you can have a safe trip to Corfu. The Beautiful Island of Zakynthos Zante is a beautiful Greek island located in the Ionian Sea. Known for its stunning beaches, crystal clear water, and rugged cliffs. There are plenty of things to do on the island, whether you're looking for relaxation or adventure. Zakynthos is home to many beaches. Navajaya Beach and Jerica's Beach are some of the most popular and beautiful beaches in Greece. You can also visit other beaches such as Laganas, Kalamaki, and Agio Nikolaos. There are a range of other attractions to see on the island, such as the Blue Cave and Kerry Lighthouse. The Byzantine Museum of Zakynthos is a building housing ancient artifacts from a range of eras, and the Solomos Museum features the work of two famous poets. The buildings and museums are located across from one another. You can enjoy the adventure of an island tour anytime you want. Activities on Zakynthos can vary in cost depending on the activity. Visiting beaches is free, but renting chairs and umbrellas can cost around 10 or 15. Excursions and diving trips can cost anywhere from 20 to 80 euros. The entrance fees vary depending on the place. Some foods are cheaper at restaurants near you, but others can be more expensive. Regardless, it allows customers to gain a personal relationship with their chef. A glass of wine or a beer at an on-island bar or restaurant is usually about 5 euros. Prices for budget hotels range from 30-50 euros per night and rooms at upscale hotels can be priced as high as 100 euros per night. In order to make the most of your trip and know what activities and experiences you will get, it's important that you research prices beforehand. What is the Aegean Sea? The Aegean Sea is a body of water that is located in the eastern Mediterranean region. Greece is located between its mainland and the many islands in its vicinity, including the famous Cyclades and Dodecanese island groups. The Aegean Sea is a beautiful destination for tourists. It features stunning beaches, crystal clear waters, and rich marine life, making it a popular spot for exploration. Many of the ancient Greek gods and goddesses were thought to have lived on the seas, rivers, and islands. The sea is steeped in history. The Aegean Sea is an important trade route for Greece. It connects the country to other parts of Europe and the rest of the world. Greece Politics The country is democratic in government, with a president and prime minister as the heads of state and government, respectively. Greece has a multi-party system. The two largest political parties are New Democracy and Syriza. Greece has faced many political and economic challenges because of their political and economic climate. In 2010, Greece found itself in a severe debt crisis. Ultimately, starting in 2015, this led to austerity measures and social unrest. Greece has been dealing with the refugee and migrant crisis since early 2015. Many refugees are fleeing war in the Middle East, Africa and elsewhere and seek refuge in Greece. This has strained Greece's resources and led to political tensions within the country and with its European partners. Greece's political climate is complicated. The country has made some progress in addressing its economic issues. It has received bailout funds from its European partners to help stabilize its finances. Greece is a country that has proven to be unstable because of the austerity measures they put in place. They have also been seen to balance social welfare programs and address inequality. The refugee crisis has led to political divisions in the country. Some parties advocate for more welcoming policies towards refugees and others argue that stricter border control would be better. Politicians in Greece are wary of the effects that powerful groups and corrupted leaders have on the future of their country. Greece is a country with a rich history and culture, which continue to play an active role in shaping the country's future. Greece Wineries and Wine Tasting Greece is a land of fine wine. Wines from Greece date back thousands of years and have been popular since ancient times. It is a beautiful landscape for its thriving wineries. There are many different winemaking regions and styles in Greece. The produce from the volcanic soils on Sandorini is chock-full of character, while Nemea produces fruitier wine flavors with a touch of floral notes. However, not all tours have the same tag price. Some are more expensive than others. One of the most popular wine regions in Greece is the island called Sandorini, known for its white wines made from the Assyrtiko grape. Sandorini has some of the best vineyards in the world. 
The wines produced on this island are popular with connoisseurs and make for an excellent vacation experience. Another top wine region in Greece is Nemea. It produces red wines and uses the Ayutiko grape. Some of the top wineries in Nemea include Palava Estate, Papioana Winery, and Skiris Winery. Other notable winery locations in Greece include the island of Crete, which produces a range of both red and white wines, and the region of Drama in northern Greece, known for its robust red wines. Wine tastings costs. Wine tastings and tours at Greek wineries vary in cost depending on the winery and the type of tasting that is offered. Tour tastings and food pairings range from 5 euros to 20 euros per person. Check the hours of operation for a Greece winery in advance and make sure there isn't any reservations required before traveling. Stay for the last part which will go into Greece's different climates, cheaper stays in Greece, more affordable option accommodations, and countries near Greece easy to hop to. But please subscribe to help me grow my channel. Greece different climates by regions of the country. In Greece, the climate varies widely due to the country's varied geography. There are four main climate zones across the country, Mediterranean, Continental, Mountainous and Adriatic. Athens has a typical Mediterranean climate with hot, dry summers and mild, wet winters. Summers can reach up to 35 degrees Celsius, 95 degrees Fahrenheit, while winters can drop to around 8 degrees Celsius, 46 degrees Fahrenheit. The Greek islands have a similar climate to that of Athens. The summer months are very hot and dry, while the winter months are mild with some rain. The Cyclades islands, like Mykonos and Sandarin, can have strong winds during the summer months. Crete, the island of Cyprus has warm and dry summers, but wet and cool winters. The southern coast of Crete is known for having warm weather and plenty of sunshine. Epirus in the north, this is a region with a continental climate and cold winter months. Summers can have temps up to 95 degrees Fahrenheit and winters experience below freezing temperatures. This region experiences more rainfall than other parts of Greece. Peloponnese. Greece is located in the southeastern portion of Europe. The climate is mostly determined by south winds meeting with cool, moist air from the north. The climate is hot and dry in summer and cold in winter. Greece has a Mediterranean climate. Thessaloniki in northern Greece has a humid subtropical climate. The rainforest typically experiences a lot of rainfall throughout the year. Greece has a diverse range of climates due to its varying topography and geography. There is a region in Greece that will suit your preferences. Cheaper stays in Greece, depending on your preferences and travel style. Here are a few ideas. Hostels. Hostels are a great option for budget travelers. They're often found in tourist hotspots and offer a range of amenities such as bathrooms and kitchens. Prices vary depending on the location and season, but you can usually find a bed in a dormitory room for around your 10 20 euros per night. Camping is an affordable and enjoyable getaway in Greece and read the laws first. You can find campsites that range from 5 euros to 10 euros per night, or you can rent a tent or bring your own and stay in a campsite for as little as 20 dollars per night. Airbnb is a popular option for budget travelers in Greece. The price for accommodations range based on location and demand. You can find cheaper options outside of busier times, but prices will vary depending on the type of hotel you are booking. Small, family-run accommodations are perfect for budget travelers who are on a tight budget. They offer a private room and bathroom with basic amenities such as breakfast that is included in the price. Prices vary depending on the location and season, this rooms and pensions cost around you 20-40 euros per night. 
Couchsurfing website and app that connects travelers with locals who offer free accommodation. Is a good option for travelers seeking a local touch. However, it is important to use caution when couchsurf in a new place. It's important to make sure that you feel comfortable with the other person before you agree to stay with them. Apart from accommodation, there are many other affordable options for travelers in Greece. Here are a few ideas. Street food, delicious and affordable street food can be found in Greece. Public transportation is popular in Greece because of the low cost, efficiency and ease of use. It's also a good way to experience life. Free activities, ancient ruins, local markets, beaches, and mountains are some of the many activities that can be done in Greece. Local wine. Greece has a long tradition of winemaking, and you can find many affordable options at local wineries and markets. Wine tastings are often be free or inexpensive, and you can also purchase a bottle to enjoy with a picnic. Renting a scooter or bike is a great way to explore the cities and countryside in Greece. It's cheaper than renting a car and allows you to see more of the local sites and attractions. The only downside? Always wear your helmet when riding around, as instructed by local traffic laws. Visit during the shoulder season. It is better to visit Greece during the shoulder season, when prices are lower and crowds are smaller. Greece offers affordable options for travelers. If you plan ahead and stay within your budget, you can enjoy the country. What are the countries near Greece easy to hop to? Greece is a small European country that is located near several larger countries. It's easy for you to go from Greece to nearby countries with greater ease. Turkey is a popular destination for travelers. There are ferry and air travel options to Istanbul and other Turkish cities. Italy is a country located west of Greece. It is accessible by ferry or flight. You can explore the city of Rome, Florence, and Venice or visit the Amalfi Coast for relaxation. Albania is becoming more popular as a tourism destination. The most popular methods of getting there are by boat or bus. Tourism destinations in Albania offer a variety of experiences including the coastline, mountains and culture. Bulgaria is north of Greece and can be reached by car or bus. You can explore Sofia's historic city or head to the Black Sea coast for a day at the beach. Cyprus, an island nation located southeast of Greece, has beautiful beaches and historic sites of Cyprus. For a beach break, take a flight to Egypt. From there you can explore the pyramids and temples of Cairo or travel to the Red Sea for some diving and snorkeling. Israel is located in the southeastern part of Europe and is accessible by plane. Jerusalem is full of historic sites and Eilat has a lively beach scene. Greece is a great starting point for exploring the many nearby countries and their unique cultures, histories and attractions. Which airlines are cheaper to get you to Greece? Several airlines offer affordable flights to Greece. Here are a few options. Aegean Airlines is the largest and most affordable airline in Greece. With flights to European cities as well as some in the Middle East, it's easy to find your next great vacation spot. Ryanair is a low-cost airline that offers cheap fares from many European cities. Be aware that they charge for many services, such as check bags and seat selection. 
low-cost airline, EasyJet offers affordable fares and has a good reputation for customer service. With Air is a Hungarian low-cost airline that operates flights to Greece from several European cities. They offer some of the cheapest fares, but be aware that they charge extra for many services, such as check bags and seat selection. Olympic Air is a Greek airline providing affordable fares and promotions. When booking travel, it's a good idea to compare prices across multiple airlines and booking platforms. Consider flying into a smaller airport in Greece, as these may have lower fees and charges than larger airports like Athens. What affordable transportation methods for tourists? Greece has many transportation options for tourists. They include, but are not limited to, buses, ferries and trains. Greece has a comprehensive public transportation system that includes buses, trains and metro lines. This can be a good option for getting around in Athens. Taxis are affordable and widely available in Greece. Agreeing on the taxi fare before you enter the car is smart. If you don't, some drivers might be reluctant to negotiate so they can make more money. Renting a car can be an affordable way to explore Greece. If you're traveling with a group, prices vary depending on the time of year and car type. Bike rentals are an enjoyable way to get around the city while minimizing costs. Prices vary depending on where and what kind of bike you want to rent, but they are often less expensive than car rentals. Walking is a great way to explore Greece. Locals will love you walking through their streets and they're perfect for sightseeing. You can also save money by walking. Ferries are the cheapest way to travel from one point in Greece to another. There are many ferry companies in Greece, and prices can vary depending on the route and type of ferry you're taking. Airlines are generally more expensive than ferries, while they may not provide as much scenic views of the islands. This video has given you a taste of all the remarkable excursions that await you in Greece. Greece has many wonders, including the beautiful temples in Athens and the colorful streets of Mykonos. With a rich history, stunning scenery, and delicious wines, it is no wonder that more and more people are discovering the magic of this Mediterranean gem. Let's go to Greece today. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and like and comment if you wish that I make other type of videos.